Hey guys, welcome to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris Steltz. We are going to Michigan once again. Um, Dark Horse Brewing Company. A very, very small. It's a small brew pub in Michigan. This is their Crooked Tree IPA, 6% alcohol by vol volume, available year-round. They do also make a seasonal, which is their Double Crooked Tree IPA, but that one comes in at 12%, so it's basically this, you know, and they double it. I hear excellent, excellent things about that beer. Can't wait to try it, and I'm definitely going to be reviewing that one pretty much as soon as I get it because, um, you know, it's... It's been out for about a month now, so it's kind of pushing the date on a little bit. But anyway, let me get this into the glass for you, let you know how it tastes, let you know how it smells, and I'll give you the verdict. All So pouring the uh, <clears throat> pouring the beer into the glass, didn't get a lot of a hop aroma. A little bit, um, slight citrus, piney notes. Actually, smelled a lot more like a West Coast beer. Um, but I was expecting kind of a floral, fruity, kind of sweet smell. Didn't get that. It got a lot of um, pineyness, citrusy, uh, a little bit of grapefruit from it. Yeah, lots of citrus. Very, very West Coast. Um, definitely, definitely dry hopped. You can definitely smell that in it. Um, hops smell really fresh. Kind of jump right out of the glass at you. Right as you, you know, your first drink, I got a ton, just really a, a load of just citrus and grapefruit and, you know, orange peel, lemon zest, like that. Not a lot of bitterness, more hop flavor, hop aroma than anything. The, the malt in it is really nicely balanced, a lot of sweet malts. Um, there's obviously, you know, based on the color, it's a dark orange, so there's obviously some kind of caramel malt in it, um, like Carapil 60 or something like that. Um, to give it the mouth feel, the color, that's really what those crystal malt do, crystal malts do. Um, so I'm getting a lot of the kind of the breadiness of the malts mixed in with a lot of grapefruit, a lot of pininess, citrusiness from like a West Coast type feel to it. It's blended, it's balanced really well. First beer from Dark Horse I had, and looking at the bottom of the bottle, it looks like it was conditioned in the bottle. There's yeast at the bottom of there, sediment at the bottom. So with that said, scale of one to 10, um, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half, eight. I think it runs, you know, it's a new, newer brewery. I think they run, you know, strongly with some of the uh, bigger IPAs, you know, your three Alpha King, the, um, you know, pretty much um, even, even some of the West Coast stuff like Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale. It, you know, it, it's gonna pale real, not pale in comparison, but it's gonna, it's gonna stick up with those guys. Um, it's it's a decent IPA, very well balanced, lots of citrusy, piney notes, balanced with uh, sweet malts, bready malts. So I'm really happy with it. Um, I look forward to trying the Double Crooked IPA, um, see what they do with that one. I think that's going to have a lot more of the floral um, kind of hoppiness, the sweeter hoppiness to it. So again, this is Dark Horse Brewing Company. It's their Crooked Tree IPA, 6% alcohol by volume, available year round. It's out of Michigan. So you'll probably be able to find it in the middle of the country. I can get it on the East Coast pretty easily, or on Pennsylvania at least, I should say. So it is distributed other places rather than Michigan. So if you can get it, I definitely recommend trying it out. It's a really good IPA. So until next time, cheers.